the member from Oshawa for final comment. Thank you, Speaker. I was glad to have a full 20 minutes, and I can't believe how quickly they went by. I had two desks worth of notes, um, but we've had four years worth of conversations. I would say that uh, this is one of the most neglected uh, sections of any ministry that I, I have heard of or seen. Um, I'm glad that we're having the conversation that we have a bill in front of us, but again, there are so many missed opportunities. So what's in the bill is, is it's okay. But what isn't in the bill is so important. Um, we need to see appropriate staffing and compliments uh, dealt with in here when it comes to our probation and parole officers addressed to handle that caseload issue. Um, we need to, when it comes to safety, have our jails and facilities properly resourced. If we're going to do any of the programming and you know rehabilitative um, work that needs to be done, we need to physically have the staff in order to take them from point A to point B, in order to administer the programs if that's what it takes. When our facilities are constantly in lockdown, well, that's an exception to some of their segregation pieces. There are workarounds throughout this bill that the government has tucked in there, and there are other things um, that, you know, I wish we could get into the nitty gritty here and define things properly when it comes to use of force, when it comes to different pieces. I know the officers have questions around what constitutes immediate. You know, they're concerned for their safety just as they are for the inmates' safety and well-being. Um, this government needs to not just listen to the front lines, they have to believe them and they have to be willing to work with them. Uh, let's not forget that this government is their employer. Uh, they seem to have a vested interest in keeping these things quiet. So I don't, I don't actually believe that they mean to make the changes that, they've, uh, that they say they're going to and we don't see the ones we should in this bill. Um, you know, I'm reminded too that the government keeps saying care and custody, they always forget the control part. And I wonder if that's because the government has no control over what it is they're doing. Thank you, Speaker.